Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Another day is dawning in Mordheim, city of the damned, and let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. And, of course, not the least, follow my personal progress as the Warlock Ranger Mage Master. And the captain ranked up to level 6. This is amazing. He got two skill points more. He must have a load of them already. And he got a martial advancement point. Nice. Congratulations, Mason Mugshot. Well done. He was a bit nervous about how dodgy Dan is gonna make it. Let's just see. And Howard Howler. He did a good job out there. Took a bad beating, but put two enemies out of action. He was given a martial advancement point. Nice. Well done, Howard Howler. And Dodgy Dan, there you are. As if nothing has happened? This is awesome. We were all so nervous about you. You took a bad hit out there. One second out of focus and you ran straight into their ambush. That was bad. It could have gone really, really bad. Well done, Dodgy Dan. Well done. And Baldy Bowman with your crossbow. And you were the most valuable warrior. Awesome. And one mental advancement point for you. And you are looking as if you are going to rank up soon. With that kind of shooting, you will. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise, you ranked up to level 5. You got a new strategy point. So that means you got 6 strategy points now. You got a physical advancement point and you got a martial advancement point. Nice. Well done Sheldon Shieldwise. And once again you did some real good fighting out there. Well done Sheldon. And there I am, Mage Master. I got a mental advancement point and I got my fifth mission survived. This is incredible. This means I'm close to finalizing my standard contract. I just need one more enemy put out of action. This is awesome. And Herman Henchman, you put an enemy out of action today and got a mental advancement point. That was a success. And you're halfway to ranking up to level 4. Things are going well. And Nero the Hero, you did a good job out there today. You stepped forward and shot your arrow and tucked yourself right back in security again. You did everything right. Well done, Nero. You got a martial advancement point, and we should probably use that for ballistic skills in the beginning here. Well done, Nero, and welcome. Your warband is getting stronger. All right. Look at this. Awesome. Our warband has been ranked up to level five. And we've gained the impressive slot and we can now hire impressives as well. And we've gained another reserve slot. Maybe that reserve slot should be for your twin brother, huh? We need a backup captain. So you can use all your skill points for new training. And there's a 40% wordstone resistance and a 35% all alone test buff by the wagon. Well, this is all good news. Awesome. And while the captain distributes the spoils of war and the advancements of skills, you can enjoy Mage Master's very own first-hand experienced war tale of yesterday's venture into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. And the captain has found us a hard mission today. Someone is marked for death. Both wordstone gathering and scavenging could be average, and both warbands deployed tightly around their wagons and prepare to have a go at each other. Now the plan is we send Nero the hero ahead to safety up this ramp and inside this nice big house. All of the warriors will also follow up, and Baldy Bowman and I will take care of these two scavenge points 
We will take it through the entrance and up and down the stairs, fights. And I went for the scavenge points. First, I found 37 gold coins in a chest, and I decided to go for the second scavenge chest as well. I also found gold coins in here to a total of 64 gold coins. That pretty much paid for the whole mission, right? Anyway, the others were lining up on the ramp and they even made good space for me as well. We were standing there as a second front line and the back line just waiting. Inside the house they were lining up nicely around the stairs and Nero the hero went courageously and bravely downstairs to loot a chest right next to the main entrance. He only had a little table to hide behind and they were literally standing right outside our door. They were on their way and Boldy Bowman could hardly wait to try out his new crossbow. And Howard Howler lined up in front of the stairs. There was no chance of getting by him. And the first to come running around the wall was the leader. I sent him a warning shot, telling him to go for the front door instead. And he did. So we all lined up, and Nero the hero had come to safety by A new window. round has started. And Baldy Bowman could ah. make his first shot with the crossbow, and it was a first blood. And then I sent him a little welcome greeting as well, and the captain also wanted to send him a greeting. Ah. But he just kept on running, so Herman Henchman sent him a warning shot. He didn't get that. So he continued running up the stairs, and then Dodgy Dan sent him a warning shot. He still didn't understand it. So he met Howard Howler. But he didn't get it still, and started sticking his big spear of venom to him. So Howard Howler gave him some more damage. But he just kept on. And on. So I decided to damage his feathers in his hat, I guess. Anyway, that captain, he never misses, right? He never misses. See? And Sheldon Shearwise crept up on him, tried to surprise him from the back, but he dodged it again and again. Howard Howler even tried his dodging techniques and found it failed. So he angered and put him down. But Howard Howler had taken some serious damage and there were more on the way. And there's a warlock right there. And there are many more. Oh, they are coming. It seems as if this house attracts them like flies to a turd. Oh yes, flies to a turd, and there was one of them. I picked him out nicely, and tucked myself right back in the line of shooting. And Nero the hero did the same, sticking his head out, sticking it to them, and getting back into safety and security. Baldy Bowman was doing legendary shooting out there, and Dodgy Dan kept the side entrance clear with an ambush. But they were lining up all around us, coming in from the front and from the side. But we were ready, all of us waiting. That's when the first one showed up, by the side door. The captain popped him on his way up. I popped him standing right out there. And he didn't really seem as any threat to any of us. Captain, who never misses, also gave him a little more damage while he was standing there, and Nero the hero kept shooting with his one shot every turn. He was doing a great job, right, Baldy Bowman? Take aim shots and do the damage. Nice. But I also got a shot or two of my own. Someone new was coming up the stairs. And the captain... They were still coming up the stairs. And Herman Henchman gave him a little damage on the top stair. 
and he sneaked in on Howard Howler, dealing even more damage to him. You don't do that. No, you don't do that, see? And Dodgy Dan was so focused on the loot, and it was just one second out of focus. That's when disaster struck. He ran straight into an ambush and was put to his knees. Sheldon Shieldwise came to his rescue. Gave him some damage, but got something right back. You don't do that with Sheldon Shieldwise. But Dodgy Dan was hurt, sitting on his knees. A new round has started. Sheldon Shieldwise kept his attention and took a parry and a dodge, but also got taunted. Dodgy Dan on his knees, puzzled. Sheldon Shieldwise taunted. And I could stick a little arrow in his back, and that captain could... Well, you didn't see that. But he could give some smelling salts to Dodgy Dan to try and get him on his feet. But that didn't work. Nero came in with a perfect headshot, and the guy was bleeding heavy in the doorway. So Herman Henchman put him out of his misery. This dude had done some serious damage, but we weren't done. And Sheldon Shieldwise acknowledged that they had a ranger outside the door. We heard him reload and welcome him in the door. Baldy Bowman did his damage with the crossbow and he tried to shoot back, but missed. The captain tried to help Dodgy Dan, removing some of his open wounds. This was a success. Dodgy Dan was ready to fight. Boldy Bowman loading his crossbow again and again, finding his target. But that's when the warlock turned up on the ramp. Now this warlock was a weird one. I had a fly in my eye, I think, or this guy was enchanted. He tried to cast a fireball at us, but luckily failed. And the rest of us tried to target him, but there was something wrong. He must have been enchanted. Even the captain made a miss. We missed one shot after the other, and he gave us blinded light, but suffered a debuff. Sheldon Shieldwise made him suffer even more. I tried once again to target him. Even with an aimed shot, the arrows just seemed to find another way than their targets. But the captain never misses. We all know that. See? We all know that. And can he do it again? Yeah, that's right. He was bleeding heavy in the doorway, and Nero the hero also tried to target him. But blinded by lights, he missed as well. And Baldy Bowman, he loaded another arrow on his crossbow, but missed. Sheldon Shieldwhite has had enough. He gave him serious damage and put himself into a defensive stance as we know him. Dodgy then sneaked up from behind and gave him a crit. But he stood his ground, made a successful all alone check, and attacked Sheldon Shieldwise, who dodged right away and counterattacked him down to the ground. Nero the hero did some eminent shooting with his one arrow in every turn, and Baldy Bowman was impeccable with his crossbow. And they finally gave up. It was a battleground victory. There was some wordstone gathering and a little bit of looting. Not much, though. We lost no one, got one injured, though. We put four enemies out of action, and Baldy Bowman, with his crossbow, was honored most valuable warrior. Should have been me, right? He did some good shooting, but I gathered 64 gold coins, right? I pretty much paid for this mission. It's not like I'm using the gold coins for myself. Anyway, let's just say uh, it all costed 45 gold coins and overall a successful mission. Now let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. 
And that Captain Mason mugshot, he wasn't too happy about the looting out there. There wasn't much. Two good quality spears, though, and a good quality shield. But nothing that he is going to use. He is going to stock up on the smelling salts and on the poultice. That turned out to really help Dodgy Dan. That was good. And he has an advancement point that he is going to be using for ballistics today. Like this. Yes. And Howard Howler, our big brute basher in the first front line, he got a martial advancement point that is using that for weapon skill. And he's gonna stock up on a little extra smelling salt in case the first dose doesn't work, like it happened to Dodgy Dan. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise, he did a formidable job out there. Once again, our white knight. And this time he has been accordingly rewarded. Two advancement points, one in physical, going for strength, and one in martial, going for weapon skill. Well done, Sheldon. And he is going to try out the Spear of Venom we found out there. This is going to be exciting to see that in use. I think he's going to be real good with that. Let's just see. And Herman Henchman, you've also been doing a good job out there, both shooting and fighting, and you got a mental advancement point going for intelligence. Well done. And we're going to switch your weapon hands a bit here because you are going to be a little more in the first front line, which means you're going to have your dueling pistols in your alternate weapon hand. And we are going to take a sword and a good quality shield for you as well. This one. Nice. And Dodgy Dan, you gave us quite a scare out there on your knees, but you came back with flying colors and a full recovery. Nice. You got a physical advancement point, which is going for agility this time. Maybe that will improve the dodging to 0%. Anyway, you are not going to be coming on a mission with us today. You're just going to take a day of recovery and you are leaving your spot in the line for Donnie Dodger. And here he is, Donnie Dodger. He's going to take a position as a second frontliner, which means that he is going to be switching his weapons hands. His primary weapon is going to be the dueling pistols and his maze is still a good choice. Lots of damage and a good extra position percentage on the hit chance and of course a blue shield today 5% armor absorption giving you an armor absorption of 35% this is good nice and there I am mage master there was nothing for me out there and no good quality at all in my stock but I did get a mental advancement point and I'm gonna be using that for leadership this is really boosting our morale this is a good thing and my all alone test important important Nice. And Baldy Bowman, what incredible, formidable, legendary shooting you did out there with that crossbow. You were given an advancement point in mental, and you're going to be using it for leadership to just level out these two a little bit and to boost your all alone. This is important. You are not going to be joining us for the next mission, so you are going to be giving your helmet and your blue dagger to Teddy Toothpick. You're gonna hold on to this crossbow though, because Teddy Toothpick doesn't have the quick reload that you have yet. So he won't be getting the full benefit of the crossbow. And here he is, Teddy Toothpick, putting on the helmet and taking the dagger into his belt. And actually, he is going to come with us on a mission today, but he is not going to be using the rifle. Instead, he's going to take a long bow to have the possibility of two good shots. And he's giving the rifle to Nero the Hero. You did some good shooting, did everything right out there. And today, you are going to be trying the hunting rifle. You just have one shot, so might as well make it really hurt and at a really far distance. You got an advancement point in Marshall and is of course going to be using that for ballistic. Nice, Nero. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. 
And we're all hale and hearty and a shipment request to Brigginsburg. That's not our sponsor, the Baron. Oh, it looks like the captain is dealing some wordstone on the black market. That's not going to please the Baron. He hasn't requested a wordstone shipment for the next four days. Uh Uh-huh. Well, let's just keep that info to ourselves. I got some other daily news for you about our one-armed cook, Perry Perry. You see, yesterday he promised the captain to do better, and he kind of did. He prepared a red bell pepper soup for us, but he mistook the bell peppers for chili peppers, and we really tried to eat it, but it was so spicy that we were sweating and gasping for air, and we pretty much drained half of the water supply that was left in our warp and well. So we're now down to a quarter water supply and ended up making a pot of oatmeal porridge. The captain was furious, but Perry Perry had a good point. He needs a proper kitchen to make proper food. He only has one bonfire. So the captain went down to the lumber mill and got the best quality wood, spared no expense. So we're all gonna build a kitchen for Perry Perry with good quality wooden cupboards, tables, shelves, you name it. And it's all gonna be ready for tomorrow's dinner after the mission. And Perry Perry has promised us to make an Asian gourmet dish tomorrow called slush slush slushy sushi. Yeah, he's already gone down to the docks for ingredients, so I'm guessing it's something with fish. I'm looking forward to that, and the thought of just one more day with oatmeal porridge. I also have some other news for you. It's come to my attention that the captain is a planner. He has a plan for me too, so I obviously asked him to see it. But these plans are top secret, and he doesn't show them to anyone before they're true members of the firing squad. But I persuaded him to show me his plan for the firing squad as a warband. So while he went to the lumber mill, I took a good look at it. And of course, I'll share it with you. But hey, the these plans are top secrets. You gotta promise me not to tell the captain that I showed it to you, okay? I could get fired for this stuff. But this is what I discovered. Mason Muckshot is the type of guy who loves to lay plans. Ain't that right, Captain? Yeah! He lays warband plans and battle plans and he even has a master plan for each and every individual warband member of the firing squad. He keeps it all in the Captain's book of master plans. Now let's take a look at the Captain's master plan for... The Firing Squad as a human mercenary warband in Mordheim, City of the Damned. A warband has objectives, just like warband members have, and it of course also has a standard warband contract to complete before they can become a qualified warband. That contract requires them to gain 25 warband victories. Then they're qualified to progress with the star objectives, giving them honor and rank as a warband. They can achieve a star by gaining another 25 warband victories, making it a total of 50 warband victories. That would earn them a honor star and give them the rank of a professional warband. They can of course also gain a star by gaining the warband rank 10, the highest ranking in Mordheim City of the Damned. That would provide them with a second star making them a master class warband. And then there is a very personal setup of a warband consisting of 15 members. Two captains, two ranger heroes, two melee heroes, two runner heroes, two marksmen and five warriors. This could provide them with the final star making them a legendary warband. But not only that. This very specific setup of warband members is closely connected to the captain's own battle plan and to his formation strategy. The captain's approach formation on the battleground is based on three battle lines and a free roamer. Starting from the back, the free roamer is a smuggler, a runner hero that can loot, scavenge, gather wordstone, place black powder traps and go back and forth between the war party and the wagon possibly even the enemy's wagon. She has a long movement range, high agility stats and good ballistic skills with her long-ranged hunting rifle, so she will also assist the backliners. Now the backliners are ranger heroes and marksmen. 
They carry a heavy load of range damage but are not suitable for close melee combat. They need to be protected and covered by the frontliners, but they are in reach on a high ground or such to provide buffs and consumables for the frontliners. Now let's move to the first front line. These are the melee heroes and warriors. They are heavy tanks. They can deal a lot of melee combat damage and they are strong and highly skilled in weapons. They are the ones taking on the oncoming foe and engaging in close combat. Now the second frontliners have their primary weapons as ranged. They are equally as weapon skills as the first frontliners, but they have a little better ballistic skills, and they can provide damage on ranged, and they can step in and assist the first frontliners' engagement. They can also switch places with the first frontliners if these get injured or need to step back. The first frontliners stepping back can then switch to their ballistic weapons and provide damage still from the second frontline. And this is the full master plan sheet for the firing squad as a warband. And I'm gonna copy all of these sheets and share it with you, of course, in my own book, Mage Master's Book of Sheets. But hey, don't tell the captain, okay? I could get fired for this stuff. Anyway, I have even more inside news for you. It seems that Nero the Hero didn't just tell the captain who the second battle buddy of his twin brother was. He also helped him to recruit him. He's some French sword and shield specialist warrior called Pierre Paré, and he'll be arriving tomorrow. A new recruit. This is surely exciting news, and hopefully that will finally change the captain's twin brother's mind so he'll come and join us on missions as a reserve captain. And speaking of missions, let's see who we're sending into Mordheim, City of the Dam today. We are a war party of eight, starting from the left. Me, of course. Mage Master, I'm going all in today to try and see if I can put one more enemy out of action, and that way complete my standard contract and become a true member of the firing squad. God, I'm really crossing my fingers, or... Maybe I'm not. It's hard to shoot the bow. Anyway, our big brute basher Howard Howler in the first front line today. And of course the captain, the only one we have. We have three warriors along today as well. Sheldon Shieldwise, aka our white knight, is trying out the spear of Venom. And Herman Henchman is a first frontliner today as well. He does have the dueling pistols in his second weapon hand, but he is in the first front line today. And Donnie Dodgers is taking up the dueling pistols in his primary weapon hand because he's gonna be a second frontliner and he has an okay ballistic skill, actually. And we have Teddy Toothpick along with us as the eye in the sky is taking the longbow for a two-shot opportunity every turn. Since he hasn't got the quick reload, he can't reload crossbows or rifles twice. So, one that is using a rifle today is Nero the Hero trying it out. This is gonna be exciting. So, let's go! And the captain has found us a normal mission today, Wordstone Rush. The gathering of Wordstone could be poor in the scavenging also. One warband deploys tightly around its wagon, while the other is divided into three strike teams. Maybe the Baron has found out that the captain is dealing Wordstone on the black market and sending him these normal missions. Hmm. Anyway, let's go! A spy has reported that an enemy warband is hurrying to recover a secret cache of equipment in the area. With this information, you are able to beat them to the location and deploy patrols to watch for the enemy's arrival. And we're in! Awesome! First things first. Let's just check out who we are dealing with here. Wolves of Sylvania. It is the undead. Okay, time for deployment and to hear the captain's hopeful master plan about this map. It is nasty looking. Oh man, I really don't think I like this map. So I am gonna be here. And the captain is gonna be here. And 
and Teddy Toothpick is gonna be here with the captain. And Sheldon Shieldwise is gonna stay put here. And Donny Dodges, you could be here. And Nero the Hero, you're gonna take the spot. Herman Henchman, you're gonna be here. And Howard Howler, you are gonna be here. All right, let's hear the captain's plan. Well, the plan is we are scattered as things are looking right now in three different strike groups, and we are all around their wagon. This is not a good thing. We need to gather up, and the safest place to gather up is in this corner house. We will maybe need to keep an eye on this because this is where the Captain Howler and Teddy Toothpick is coming down this way, hopefully before they can interact us. And I am going to be the sprinter. I'm all alone here, and I need to make it fast this way. I'm just hoping they're not going in a straight line down here. They're going to cross my path. So let's see. Let's deploy Howard Howler. Let's see how things go. Let's see what's going on here. See, three of them are already taking their turns before me. I'm standing right around the corner right here. I don't know how far they could get down this way. It's really risky. But I'm hoping that my long movement range is going to be an advantage here. Let's just see. Okay. Straight line. Let's watch out for that. Maybe a trap. And let's just place ourselves in here. An open doorway. Possibilities to disengage if I get engaged. I do not like this. I do not like this. Wow. I'm pretty exposed out here. All alone. We all are in a way. We need to find each other. Their wagon is right down there by the red beam. It's right down the street, right down there. Okay. So we need to find a way to get through these houses. It seems as if I have to go all the way around that corner. I can't. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. We have to face them. Oh my God. This is bad. Okay, 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 um, this is bad. Well, okay, this is like engagement right away, like right away. Uh-huh, okay. This is bad. This requires new planning. Okay. Let me just take a look at these guys. All of them are down here. Seems like this is the house that we are going to be guarding. Taking a fight in. This is not good. Anyway. We need to get everybody up here instead. So, change of plans. Change of plans. Anyway. This is, uh... Let's just see. Is there a spot upstairs that's better? Is it better to be in here? At least you can switch weapons easier down here. First blood. Nice, Mason. Um, I'm not really too happy about this situation right here. So, let's switch weapons right here. And then you have an ambush. 
And you can see them out the door, they that. I don't like this. I don't like this. Here comes one of them. Oh, man. And another one takes his turn down there. Okay. So, you need to get inside as fast as possible. Let's just see. There was a high ground possibility for you up here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Why don't you just give him a shot right there in the eye? Nice one, Teddy. Nice one. And you can reload and you have two shots. Yeah, so so you are going to take an overwatch stance just to stop anyone approaching or give him some more damage if he moves in. He does. He does move in. This is um I'm not sure I like this. We're just going to check out the map. This guy, where is he? Is he going for me or is he going somewhere else? Was he? He was there. Looks like he's in here. So he might be going this way. Anyway, there are three against the three of us. We need to get you guys ahead, right ahead. You just need to move. That's just straight line. That's right. In terms of getting through this way, we couldn't get around that way, so... Could we get through that corner over there? I'm gonna take a chance here. We're going for, for some nastiness right now. You can move ahead and attack someone, that's fine. Just do it. And pistols. Pistols. Whoops. That was a trap, I think. Let's just tip two. Like this. Okay. Um gonna go ask you to go this way a bit. Gonna flank them. So Donnie dodges, you are probably gonna have to switch to melee weapons soon. So we really gonna take care of you, but you've got a long range, so you don't need to get up too close. We could keep you a little bit at a distance. Let's just watch that. I'm pretty sure it's a trap. Whoops. Like that. Um. Maybe here. Yeah, maybe somewhere like this. Ooh. Yeah. We're all vulnerable right now. Let's see if we can have an henchman. Let's see if we can get you up in, in front of Nero the hero. You can't, but you can take an ambush and let's hope that we can stop anyone approaching him. And Howard Howler. Let's just see here. This. It's where you take an ambush stance. That's right, an ambush stance. And we're gonna see what happens. That's the first round. A new round has started. Ooh, let's just look out the window, do we dare? Look at those guys, they're all out here. Nice arrow right there, Teddy. Let's see. Okay, something's happening down there. An ambush stance. An unspotted enemy is taking his move. Okay, here goes. Stanislav. What's going on? Did he did he just got a debuff? Nice. Nice. Whoop. Yeah, that's right, Teddy. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Uh, this is a fear test. Wow. I like that swing there. Yeah, that's right. 
Howard, how are you doing great? You're doing great, and you got another attack. <laughs> this is damaging him, really. <laughs> what did that do? Okay, I like that you stopped in the door. Now that means you're blocking the door, and it's my turn. Okay, it seems as if I made it this first round. How am I going to get all the way around in that circle? In a big circle all the way around here. I don't like being alone that much. I don't like being alone that much, and I'm not going to be... I, I, okay. Hmm. Let's see. Do we spot anyone yet? No. I need to get to them. I really need to get to them. Okay, let's just see the map here. I don't see anyone. This guy wasn't here, but he was in the house somewhere here. He's in there. He's in the house right there. Okay, let's just see this guy up in the doorway. He's got ten wounds left. Ten. I mean, we can deal with that. I'm just gonna continue this. I don't see anybody, so I'm just gonna take my chances and try and see if... Oof, I am so exposed here. An Overwatch stands in the middle of the yard here. This is like... Oof. Okay. So, if we move him, the others are gonna come. Uh, yeah, well, let's just do it anyway. Uh, you could charge. Yeah, you could charge. Well, you know what, Mason? You know what? Maybe the smartest thing you could do right now is just, um, like, go over here, uh, for, um, delay. He's not gonna attack you. He's already had his turn. So, a delay here. And let's see what the others do outside. Let's see what they do. Where did he go? There's one guy over there. He's just standing there. And there's a nice cluster down there. Oh. Okay, that was it. That, that was it. Mm-hmm. So maybe, um... We maybe we should give that uh, shot to Teddy Toothpick. So we're gonna delay one more time here. First of all, we reload. Just stretch the point a little bit inwards here, uh, like this. And um, I'm thinking that. Howard Howler, if he damages someone, he damaged them considerably more than 10. So, why not try something like this instead? Ah, uh, that's maybe not a good idea, is it? No. No, it's not. Let's just see. Is there a better high ground upstairs? This is not a good high ground. I can't get. Sometimes you can get up on the roofs. Let's see. Nope. So we're back here. This is an okay spot. So let's see. Is that only the only one we can shoot at? Well, in that case, let's just make it an aim shot then. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're doing good, Teddy. Nice, nice one, nice. So, oh my God, I forgot I already, I already reloaded. Oh man, that's too bad. I forgot that one. I forgot that one. I guess Teddy forgot that one, right? See, this is not a good thing that he needs to move first. If we go in a straight line, oops, that's not a nice one to step in, I think. See, there are some climbing possibilities up. Oh, there is a ramp up here as well. Let's just see. Wonder if anyone can come up, climb up right there. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. 
Let's see if anybody comes. Ooh, there is someone. There is someone. So if we place him here. In here. We may be able to guard him a bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's gonna be. And now we need to see if we can close up any gaps in here. That wasn't too good, actually. However, it's gonna hurt anyone to get close. It is an Overwatch stands for Donny Dodger and for Nero the Hero. And you can you can scavenge. Greta spoon. Okay. It's gold. And let's see if we should just charge you and get it over with, huh? There it was. Swift charge. That's it. Yep. <laughs> nice. Okay. And let's just see if we can loot. We can't loot without using an extra. It doesn't matter. A helper of enfeeblement. Uh, that could be for you, Howard Howler. And I could take this one. Okay. Hmm. Objectives updated. Yeah, we need to gather wordstone, but right now that does not seem to be so relevant. Can we have him in here? And in an ambush. And Howard Howler is gonna be put in an ambush again. And Sheldon Shieldwise. Let's see if we can get you into a position where you could cover these guys in at least at, in this house. So if you take an ambush here, they wouldn't be able to close in on Nero the hero over there unless they climb and Herman henchman let's just see here okay so that is this guy we're looking at we got the two other guys on the streets and we got one in the house right here okay and I'm standing way down here okay so Herman henchman I saw that there was a scavenge point in here. Yep, here it is. Let's just see. You might as well. You can't get that far anyway. So, let's scavenge here. That's nice. 34 gold coins. That's fine. And let's see. Um, oh, this is a bad place for an ambush. But that's what we got. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Herman Henchman. Now, Howard Howler, you were in a good position. You've taken a little bit of damage, but you were well positioned for that ambush. So maybe we're going to do that again. Yeah, and we're going to end the round. Oof, what is going to happen now? A new round has started. Let's see. Oh, this guy's coming. Ah, too bad, Nero. Too bad. Nice try. Oh, he's running to the house. Okay, he's stopping right there. Now, let's see anybody else coming. Yep. This is not good. He just got mined? No. I don't know what hit us. I don't know. Let's see. Someone else is coming there. Okay. Okay. We need to check the map right now. This guy, he has no impact on warband morale. So killing him is not going to make a difference. And same goes for this guy. And the same goes for this guy. So this is a target. And this guy hiding inside here, this house is a target as well. So, it seems we're going to have to fight our way through some corpses before we can do anything. So, let's find a good position for us all. So, I'm just going to go in a straight line. Join in the party. 
got Herman Henchman around the corner. Can't be covering anything, but I just need to run. So this is uh, an Overwatch stance for me right here. Vulnerable out the free. Looking at Sigma, I guess. The great big hammer over there. Oh, there he is. Mind numb and all. Okay. This is not looking too good. What I can do, though, is uh, delay to see what the rest of them are going to do. So the captain is going to take a delay, looking at that ugly face right out there. Oh, yeah. That's a nasty hatchet he's got. Let's see. Here comes another zombie. Yeah. He doesn't have any impact on morale either. This guy does. And he seems to be going for our warriors and changing directions. And lining up this, uh, this provides a new opportunity for the captain. Let's just see here. Let's just see here. We could just switch weapons. Yes. And reload. Yes. And shoot. Let's go for the one that actually has an impact. This could be good shot. Yup, that's right. That's right, Frederick. And the captain can re reload and go into an Overwatch stance. That's a good move there, Captain. Well done. Nice. And Teddy Toothpick, you can reload. Whoops, you cannot jump down. No, you can reload. Yeah. <laughs> Oi. Okay, and let's see here. We have a few targets down there, huh, Teddy? Let's pick the one that has an impact. This dude right here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one hurt, right? Right? Oh, yes. And an Overwatch stance just to take whoever is foolish enough to approach the front door. There are five of them are standing right out there. Five of them. Okay, Sheldon Shield-wise. If we could lure them to this entrance over here, we could get Howard Howler out and let's take it to Amelie. He's right there. He's standing all of them right there. We need to provide some assistance to that house so what we are gonna do here is we're gonna take a 74 percent parry stance right here yes and herman henchman how far could you get would you be able to get all the way over there probably not so what we're gonna do is we're gonna risk a little bit of you donny dodgers you're going to take an overwatch stance here and close the gap. Herman Henchman is going to come in and we need to protect Nero the hero here. Well, let's just stretch the point a bit out of this hole and then reload. You don't have too many movement steps. So you are going to be putting yourself right here. Okay. Overwatch stands for you there, Nero the Hero. And Herman Henchman. Let's see how far we can get you. I think the smartest thing right now would maybe be to see if we could switch weapons. Yes, that could provide damage as a second frontliner in the preliminary stages of the fight. And Howard Howler, you... You just need to stay here. You're providing good protection by that door. So another round has ended. Let's see. A new round has started. Ooh, someone's moving out there. It was a zombie going for Wordstone. Oh, that was the nice cluster. So you just got on our death list there. Nice one. You're gonna take another little shard for us also? Ah, he got a buff. He's going for one more. I can't see anything here. Ah, he 
got two buffs. Uh, come on. Ah. Ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. So... Oh, you're going for more. Okay. Back and forth, huh? You're getting a lot of buffs over there. That's too bad, Nero. I was thinking about that hole right there. But hey, you pinned him. You pinned him. That's good. Who's coming now? Well, you know what? That is the guy who's, uh... Nope. Nope. I thought it was the one who had a moral impact. Yeah, you loot that. Yeah, you go for that. Yep. Meet Howard Howler. Aye. But Howard Howler, he has a counterattack as well. Aye. You sure are one of those guys who talk back, huh? Okay, and I am all alone, stuck right here somehow. Hmm. What can I do? to assist best possible way let's see this is a good spot this is all right but i only got a 64 percent chance hmm. maybe we should make that a little better i mean this guy he does have a cluster yep so let's reload this one and go into an overwatch stance at this spot Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's just see. This guy, he's got 48. Yeah. Hmm. This guy also has an impact on the morale, so... 150 he has. 167. Hmm. Well, this is looking nasty. So, there's at least a reload. And you're engaged. So let's see if we take you outside. 85. Look at that. 85. Yeah. Nice one, Captain. Nice one. All right. That's it. And there is an Overwatch possibility here. Yeah. That's right. Let's just see. I'm just hoping you're going to be shooting that ghoul or gal, the foul gal outside. All those zombies around him, they don't have any impact. So it's Fredrick's turn. Are you going to take a move, Fredrick? Yep. Nice one, Captain. Okay, he's coming. He's coming down here. Oops, was that, was that a cat? Was that a cat that just ran up across the street there? Well, just as I was firing. Okay, Teddy Toothpick. Uh, I'm, I just gotta warn you, Teddy, there's, there's some crazy cat running around down there, I think. Let's see here. Uh, this guy needs to get hurt. So, uh, yep, that's right. Nice placement. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, reload. And, uh, on Overwatch. Yep, this one. Okay. We still have a hero out there somewhere. We can't spot him anywhere. So Nero the hero. If we stretch this one a bit and then load. And then we could see if we could crack the line there and get around this corner. We surely can. And let's see like this. Let's see if there is nice. Okay. How many targets do we have a possibility of? finding here ah this is a good spot nero good spot and he's over there this is the guy we need to take out so let's just take an overwatch let's let destiny decide that it's probably gonna be that zombie out there so this guy still got pretty much health uh doesn't do that much damage this guy does damage. So, Herman Henchman, let's just stretch this one and see if we can get a good beat on you out there. 
a reload and let's stretch this again so maybe an overwatch stance is a good one shield and shield wise can block that thing up there with Donny dodges yeah should we engage we could do that but this guy has a lot of health doesn't matter you're gonna try out the spear Sheldon let's see what you can do with that yep 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 that's right okay 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 but listen uh try a 74 percent parry stance huh this guy has a cluster that's all he's got let's just see if we reload here we could uh See if we can get a beat on that foul gal over there. Yep, look at that. 55. Ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. So, it's time to switch weapons. We're just gonna close this. This gap right here with an end turn. Making ourselves a bit vulnerable right now. And Howler! Ooh, can you believe that? You know how much life he's got left? I'll show you. One! One! Ah, oh, come on! He's not gonna be spending an extra hit at four offense points at the price of what? No way. No way. And then they're gonna be able to run straight in through this door? I don't like it. No, 77% parry chance, and end the round. He's maybe gonna hurt Howard Howler a little bit more. A new round has started. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice, Shelton. And here comes the counterattack. <laughs> Unfortunately, a good dodge from him. Ouch! Oh, come on. We just want your cluster and your life. Ooh, nice one, Nero the Hero! Nice one! Good shot! Good shot! Awesome! Okay. Teddy Toothpick. Yes! Doing a good job up there. And he's running around here. Okay, who are you going for? Donny Dodges? No, oh, you just stand in there. You just stand in there. Oh, well done, Howard Howler. Well done. Now take this. Yeah, that's right. That is right. And it's my turn. Okay, let's just pick my target with precision here. Ah, there are many possibilities, but right now, but right now I think the best possibility we have is to try and get that's not good. Let's see. Maybe... Maybe that guy's an easier target. Maybe that's what I should do, yeah. This guy. Yep! 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 You're looking like a porcupine soon. Let's take another wheel. We should maybe move. See if anybody else is gonna close in on us. I could take them out there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. So it's gonna be the captain's turn soon. Let's just see what's going on out there. And it's the captain. Let's just see, you just can't shoot this guy, he's standing right outside. And let's just see, we had someone we could loot over here. Let's just see, what have you got? You got a sword, and I got space for it. Anyway, the best place is probably still in here. So, let's just see, we could reload. Like that. And maybe, maybe there could be a shot possibility out here. It's, it's too far, I think. I think it's too far. So, if anyone runs by here, oh, he looks nasty down there. Let's just take a look at him. This guy is also a hero, and he also has an impact on the morale. So, 
the captain. Keep an eye on him. An overwatch eye, huh? Okay. So, how would Howler by the door? And the foul gowl. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. Okay, we just gave him a greeting on his way of... Uh oh Did he just... Did he just... Did... Oh, he's jumping down again. I know. I know I've done that mistake myself, thinking I could get across. But I knew that. And Nero the Hero is safe up there. Oh, there are two down there now. Two of them. Another zombie doesn't have any impact on the morale either. So, Teddy Toothpick. Ah, and then reload. Let's see if you can get around the corner. Oh, you can't even get further down here, so you just can't see him. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There's a good shot percentage right there. 28, that's what he's got. 28. We need to be careful that he doesn't fall in a place where we can't loot him. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is ask Teddy to take one of these other targets. You could take him at the better percentage, huh? Ah, uh, that wasn't good. I mean, you had a 95% and you roll a hundred, Teddy. Uh, and then reload. Man, that's bad. Anyway, an overwatch for Teddy Toothpick. And Sheldon Shieldwise, you still battling with this. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice one with the spears. 36. Wow. And Perry stands for you right there. Okay, Herman, what is the smartest thing to do? Maybe that would be to switch weapons. Yeah, you would be able to close the gap here, like this, with a parry stance of 57. And Nero the hero, you are well placed up here. I don't know if you have a shot possibility at that dude standing right down near the corner. Can you see him? He's down there. He's got a bow as well. Ah, you can't take him. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Ooh, nice one, Nero. Nice one. Nice one. Now you should tuck yourself away so that he can't fire at you. Something like, like this. Way over here. He probably can't fire at you here. So it's an end turn up there. And let's just see. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's right. That's right. An attack is better. Yeah, yeah it was. It, and we still have a parry chance of 54, but without a counterattack. Well done, Donny Dodger. Well done. Howard Howler, you have already been taken a serious beating, but you have no ranged attacks. So you're just gonna have to keep up the ambushing right here. Let's hope for the best. A new round has started. Oh, nice one, Sheldon. Once again, you buried and counter attack. Oh, man, this is an art form. Okay, that wasn't so nice to look at. I don't like that art. Okay, combat savvy. What's he doing? Oh, nice one. You just stunned him. You just stunned him. That was a good one. That was a good one. Now, let's see. Let's just see. We can reload. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not much. That's better shot chance out there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this guy should be going down. Yeah, you should. You know? Okay. Let's uh, stretch the point a little bit more. I don't know if it's necessary, really. Let's reload. An overwatch stance is a good thing. Just taking out anyone who decides to move. And he is stunned outside. But we can't get seem to get a shot in on him.
Yeah, that's where he is. Anyway. That's a good one, yeah. That's a good one right there. I think what would be smart to do is switch weapons right here without reloading. Let's just see if I can sneak it through this door. Wait a minute, I could loot. Yep. Yes. And... Loot some more. I can loot my way in back into this room. Maybe around the corner. Let's just see. And we may be able to loot a little bit more here. Like that. And let's just see how far we can still loot. Okay. We need every little step we can get inside the house again. Because they can charge from the door and straight in. So I need to get somewhere tucked in. Oh, this is not a good place. What about here? Around this corner here. I think this is okay. We may even ambush. Yeah, why not? Okay, here he comes. That's the trident. Okay. Whee, nice dodging there, Donnie Dodger. Oi, that wasn't so good. You need to move away from these things. Okay. Stimulus. Stimulus. Okay. Hmm. He's just standing there. He doesn't have much life. Let's reload. C can you shoot him down there? You can. You should take this guy. Yeah. We another stun. 36. Nice one. Nice one. So we can reload. Uh, and an overwatch stands right here for you, Teddy Toothpick. Nice one. Nice one. And Nero, the hero. Let's just see. Reload. And let's just see. Oh, you got some nice percentages on this one. You should go for it, Nero. Nice one. Awesome. Awesome! And you can tuck yourself right away here. One more time. Nice. Okay. And turn. Awesome. And Sheldon shield wise. But Sheldon, you're gonna give it to him. Stick it to him. <laughs> Oy, he parried that one. Okay. Oh yeah. 74%. Parry stance. Counter attack possibility. Okay. Donnie Dodger. This one. Oi, this guy's good. This guy's good. You're just gonna, you're just gonna yeah. give it to him. That's right, Donnie. That's right, Donnie. And then you take a parry stance. All right. All right. And here is Herman Henchman. He can also do some damage, you know. That's right, Henchman. That's right, Henchman. Awesome. Let's just see, your parry stance is 57. Yeah, try it out. Just try it out. And Howard Howler, you have a dude out here. 41, you have another guy right here. He's probably almost within ambush distance, so don't go out there. You and the captain should actually swap places, but you can't do it now. Maybe if you go over here. An ambush from this side. Yeah, he would probably make it a little bit into the room, but not enough to ambush you. And the round ends. A new round has started. Oi, that one hurt, Donnie Dodgers. That one hurt. Where's your parry? Okay. And he took a parry stance. Okay, this guy's getting up. Stun recovered. 
And an arrow from Teddy. That's right. Okay. Ah! Ay, 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 ay. What was that? Was that an arrow? You got two? Ah, rotten touch. Say, I that was the 57 parry. Hmm, but you do have counterattack, that's right. Oh, that's good. Nice. These two dudes, they don't really count. They don't have any impact or nothing, but they're in the way, right? Let's see, 35, 22. Let's see if we could get the did you guys see that? I didn't even think about it. I just finalized my standard contract. I just became a true member of the firing squad. Oh, man. I shouted that so high. I can hear the captain laughing in that other house. <laughs> I just made it. Oh, my God. Let's just see. Is this guy in, in an ambush stance? I just want to... I just want to loot. You can't ambush me around the corner. I just need to go. Be careful, right? There's the loot. Let's see. Yeah. A shield. Okay. A cluster. And a shard. And someone's got to take the sword and the rest. I'm just taking Objectives the updated. Yep. We need some word stone, but we still need six more word stone. And that's a lot, actually. Let's just see here. Um, I don't know if somebody could actually sneak around this corner. So maybe I should close that with an Overwatch stance. Something like this. Nobody's getting up to Nero the hero. And there's a guy over there. Let's just reload. And I know I can shoot this guy, but we're three on him. So Overwatch stance. Oh my god, this is so good. Five enemies put out of action. Oi. Yep, just got you. Yep, that's it. A little welcoming party. You're standing there. Let's just take a look. This guy out here, he's got 16. I mean, that's like nothing. Okay, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. To leave the building. Hmm. Let's just see. This is a decisive moment. A swift charge. That could take him right out of business. Swift charge. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yup. You're out of action. That's it. That is it. Let's just see if you got anything interesting down here. This is not interesting. He was shooting with a short bow. I was hoping it was some good quality. Anyway, that had a good impact on their morale. And there you are down there. I don't think the captain likes the way he's looking at him down there. Oi! Ay, ay, That one hurt. That one really hurt. Oh, that one hurt too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Let's just see here. A uh, great hammer. In a normal quality, this is all not really worth anything. So, so what the captain is going to do is an incredible stunt. But he's actually going to cover this corner. Ah, that's good thinking there, Mason. That's good thinking. Push right around this corner. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> so they wisened up, huh? Yeah, you lost this. And now we approach the sweet moment. Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment. But it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war, and we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, of course, we can fully enjoy the battle tales of yet another strategically superior and glorious victory for the Firing Squad. 
Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of... Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below, and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks, and have a nice day.